At six starts right now. A med student, a recent college grad. Tonight, we're learning more details about Ellie Young. She's the 22-year-old woman shot and killed while a breast cancer walk was happening just yards away. The suspect, her ex-boyfriend. Thank you for being with us tonight at 6. I'm Daryl Green. And I'm Dominique Dillon. Darcy Thomas has the night off. Fox 13 investigative reporter Kayla Solomon joins us live from Shelby Farms Park. And Kayla, that's where the shooting happened Saturday afternoon. And you were there that day as well. Yeah, Dominique, it happened right here in the parking lot at the, vin the visitor center at Shelby Farms Park. This is where Ellie Young was shot to death according to deputies. Now, I found out today from a former teacher that Young has wanted to be a surgeon since she was a teenager. The thing that really got me the most is that closing sentence that she had in her introductory paragraph that says, you know, I, after I become a surgeon, I will finally be able to do what I love to do and save lives. The career that I wish to pursue is to become a surgeon. It's the introduction Ellie Young wrote back in 2016 when she was in Johnny Nelson's eighth grade math class. Nelson posted a portion of her paper online to show Young was still pursuing that dream almost a decade later as a med student at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. But it just hurt me so, so bad, the fact that she didn't get a chance to complete that and do what she really dreamed of doing. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office says it was just after noon Saturday when her ex-boyfriend shot and killed Young in the parking lot at Shelby Farms Park. Jackson Hopper made his first court appearance Monday morning for first degree murder and other charges. Apparently a relationship between the deceased and uh, Mr. Hopper, and, uh, a uh, boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. We entered a plea of not guilty. Deputies say Hopper pulled up and shot Young at least five times. She died in the parking lot. Investigators say Hopper then led officers across county lines on a chase that eventually ended in Dyer County on Saturday evening. I found out today from the Tipton County Sheriff that Hopper is now facing multiple charges in Tipton County that have to do with that chase. They include reckless endangerment, reckless driving, as well as resisting arrest. Hopper will remain in custody at the jail at 201 Poplar until at least Monday when his bond hearing happens. Dominique. That's Fox 13's Kayla Solomon reporting live at Shelby Farms Park. Thank you, Kayla.